Sierra has been added to the Korean server and some other content. It is similar to Act 7 where there's only two newly added dungeons and just some story quests. There's no new area exploration or area dungeons, it's a very small update and nothing comparable to Contena. Also don't forget to press that sub button if you want more Summoner's War Chronicles content and also catch me live at twitch.tv slash So let's have a look at the rewards for completing Sierra. Uh, this is how the map looks like and these are the two new dungeons which you can only do once while you do the story. They added a new login event for Sierra where you get 10 mystical scrolls and some other stuff purple euro symbol box and then for it's up until week 2 and then just the devil man and some more stuff that's basically the same as the first week so that's what you get over there and then for quests if you complete Sierra you will get gold, sky stones, scissors, crystals and a legendary scroll also if you want to complete this on your old character it's 1500 crystals and also then the quest rewards over here is 1 million gold angel mounts, sky stones a hero artifact some food three symbols an outfit crafting material selection box which is interesting and five LD scrolls and 10 mystical scrolls. You can indeed do this on your old characters, that means it's 20 scrolls in total, which is pretty cool. There is no area exploration quest like I said, and there is no area dungeon added for Sierra. They also added a new thing called Summoner's Way, this is under quests. And you can complete this for rewards. I already did some of it to test it out. You get some pretty decent rewards here. Max Marble, Devil Mons, Selection Ticket, Legendary Scrolls. And a lot of other stuff that's really good. Transcendent Scroll. And there's also 5 LD Scrolls over under Symbol Power. For this one... I completed it to test it, you have to craft one symbol of each and then you, you're done, <laughs> you're finished. So I just had to craft everything over here. Just one green one of each of these four and it was completed. Pretty easy to do and you can do it on your old characters, which means another 20 LD scrolls, that means that this patch added 40 LD scrolls for everybody. So yeah, I locked on to my Orbia, I was just on my Solera now and as you can see everything is doable again. You can do everything over again, so it is pretty cool in that sense, my progress also resets. I also finally added mass combining so now you can mass combine your runes you can just press select all it's up until 10 slots so that means 30 runes that you can mass combine let's try it out oh that's that's pretty cool and very very convenient finally a fast way of combining actually a good rune there's a legendary as well and over there nice then they added under battlefield the battlefield pass can you believe it <laughs> so they added another pass to the game it's giving you legendary spell books a hero artifact another legendary spell book and a max marble free to play players gets a normal just a blessing marble some normal books blue artifact and some other stuff now how much does this cost it is twenty dollars this one is five dollars on the korean server this one is ten and this one is twenty dollars another thing i need to point out is they also added a friendly battle to battlefield so now you can play battlefield 
of your friends. So yeah, very expensive compared to the other two. And then they added the fire harp magician. Her name is Harmonia. She is... Uh, it seems like she's a healer. She heals and she cleanses. And once she cleanses, she places immunity. Which is pretty cool. It's only a 4 mana cost. The heal seems not too super big. But it seems okay. For a 4 mana cost, that's not too bad. And then skill 2. So what it does is it evens the HP ratio of the enemy target and the lowest HP team member. And it also deals a fixed of damage of the target's HP. And it also heals, it seems like. <laughs> so it seems pretty good. Way better than the Wind one, I will say that much. And the ult is very similar to the skill 2. Book effect is HP and evasion. Then they added three new artifacts to the game, one knight, one support and one archer type. For the knight one it's called Guts. Applying crowd control to an enemy increases your armor by 900 for 5 seconds. That is really good. For support we have follow up the spelling, so cleansing a teammate's debuff increases the target's effect resistance, so I guess resistance by 40% for 4 seconds. Also pretty good. Then we have an archer type reload. When a crit hit occurs from a skill attack, your cooldown is reduced by 20%. Even if a crit hit is inflicted on multiple enemies with a single attack, the skill cooldown reduction only occurs once, so you can't do an AoE attack and it will stack. This is pretty good as well. I'm pretty happy that they are adding more artifacts to the game. And that's it for this video, thanks for watching and take care and stay safe. Peace out, peace out, peace out.